don't think it's doing anything. I'm going to text Lisa. Hey, can you go on and see if I'm doing this right on YouTube? Can you click on whatever is on? Oh, yay. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Okay. Sorry. You're already here. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yay. Hi. Um, oh, it's working. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Amanda. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's the, the lighting's weird, right? It's, uh, it's gray and raining today. I have this weird, like, selfie ring light thing up here. I don't know if, I don't know, whatever. Um, hi, Ramona. <gasps> Someone from Holland. Carla, hi. Hello from Massachusetts. <laughs> Long Island, Ontario, Canada. Oh, you guys, Georgia. This is so cool. I feel like I can actually kind of actually communicate with you guys. But now I just want to stare at this and I think I'm supposed to look here and talk, but I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> I had no plan for this. Aw, thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, there's a lot of you guys here. Honestly, I was talking to Lisa this morning and I was like, I don't think anyone's gonna show up for this. <laughs> it's gonna be really embarrassing if I'm sitting here talking to myself. Um, you can look back and forth. Oh, good, is that okay? <laughs> Do I look at the camera? What am I, I feel like I don't wanna look at myself, but I feel weird looking up here. This is so exciting. It is exciting, isn't it? There's a way for two people in different places to go live together. Oh, I'm working on, Ramona, will you give me a tutorial after you figure it out? Cause I would love to do that. I told you it would be more than three people. <laughs> The pugs are loving quarantine, you guys. They are so happy right now. Come here. Stella's standing off to the side. I've got my little nugget here, guys. How are you feeling about quarantine? Honestly, I'd rather seem like I'm right now. Oh, you miss your friends? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You want to talk to her later? Maybe we can do FaceTime? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying hi, Stella. Ooh, Berlin. I miss Germany. Ooh, there's someone here from Spain. Oh, Jenny, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an awesome Canada reviewer. Thank you. <laughs> I love home fragrance, you guys. My house is full of all of the smelly things. You guys want to see Penny? We're losing our minds and our pets are living their best lives. Yes, they are. We've got a little Penny here. You guys hear her grunts? Oh, oh sweet Lord. You're so cute. <laughs> hi. People are saying hi to you, Stella. You see that? What am I warming and burning right now? Okay, so I have homeworks. Uh, hot cider donut going. That's so good, you guys. I don't know when it is supposed to be released at um, Ulta. I believe it's going to be an Ulta exclusive. So um, as soon as it is, I'll let you guys know on Instagram and wherever I can. Um, I'm also burning, uh, come on, brain fart. Uh, it's right there. Berry waffle cone from Bath and Body Works. And uh, in my like warmers, I have a uh, cotton candy cookie. It's really good, <laughs> it's so good. 
I wish I could have it in my room. We can put a cube in your room, although I just changed yours out. I went into your bathroom and changed it. Oh, yay. You have pink haze up there now. Hi, Jennifer. Penny says hi. <laughs> yay, Penny. Isn't that a great name for a pug? A little Penny. Penny Panopolis. She's the cutest. Oh, my God. I love her, you guys. Mr. Kong is somewhere around here. He's probably in bed. If I was right, like yeah, yeah, Jill, she's huge, isn't she? Stella has um, just exploded in height and uh, brains. <laughs> she's very smart. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very, very proud of her. She's actually handling this surprisingly well, you guys. Um, I keep waiting for her to lose her mind, but she is being a total, total champ right now. So I'm really, really proud of her. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's super chill. She just, she loves to hang out. She is living her best life right now, you guys. She is loving the quarantine. She's like, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. So sweet. Ew. I, her breast smells like butt. No, it doesn't. Her, her breath smells a lot better than Kong's does. I can tell you that. Height and brains, yes. <laughs> yes, Stella is, she is one of the smartest little girls that I've ever met, but might be a little biased, but I think she's pretty darn smart. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what am I missing here? She's a beauty, yeah, she is. She's gorgeous. It's my cute little nugget. <laughs> uh... I love your lampshade. Oh yeah, uh, that, I bought that in the Target clearance section. Like, you know how they have those end caps? Um, a few years ago, I found like three of those and I bought them and I love them. They're like the prettiest blue and then the flowers are cream and the flowers are uh, like, they have like a velvet texture. They're super pretty. Fuzzy. They're fuzzy, that's right. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm glowing with oil. <laughs> I haven't blotted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Hello in Denmark. Scotland. Just a quick hello. Zumba class in five minutes at home, of course. Oh, that's cool. Is, um, are you just watching it like on like a YouTube live or how are they doing that? Thank you, Samantha. Hello, Elena. I'm late, but I'm here. <laughs> I was on a work call in Louisiana. Hi, Amber. How are you? We are baking and reading and working out. Hope Stella is living. <laughs> she is loving her bonus time at home right now, although she's really missing her friends. Um, her best friend Micah and her have been... Um, always, honestly, I think that Micah is mostly my only friend. But I do have Clarissa and Allie. Oh, you have lots of friends at school. But Micah's your best friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys, I can't with Penny. Look at how happy she is right now. Like, she's falling asleep. <laughs> um, my teacher arranged it. Oh, that's so cool. Brows on point. What do I use? Okay, so I get this question all the time, you guys, and most of you probably know, but these are tattooed on my face. These are not mine. I mean, I have some hair, but my eyebrows are micro-shaded, which means that the tattoo artist used a it's different from like a tattoo gun that would you would use with like a tattoo for like your body or whatever but it's basically like getting a tattoo and um yeah so it's not the like single blade where they scrape lines this is like I think they call it a powder fill and then um I just go over it really lightly with the Tarte Amazonian clay brow powder in gray um to get the color back into my brows after I mute them out a little bit with my SPF every day so love the pug the pug loves being here <laughs> so she is falling asleep in my arms she is, oh, she's so cute, you guys. 
She's the naughtiest little girl, though. Don't let her fool you. She is a stinker. Hi, Florida. Hello. Oh, is it Latina? Latina? Is it Latina? Am I saying that right? Hello in Florida. Thank you. I love my brows. They, uh, they, this is like the best investment that I've ever made because every morning I wake up, like they're just there. It's the best. <laughs> uh, how old is Penny or Stella? Uh, Penny is one and three months. Yeah. Yeah. She's just over a year old. Her birthday was January 10th. Um, Oh shoot, we forgot our one year anniversary of picking her up. That was on March 9th. That totally slipped our minds. We've had her for just over a year. Oh, so, so cute. I'm eight. What was the color of the NYX eyeshadow that you recently told us about? Oh. When was that? Well, look at you figuring out life's all right. <laughs> look at me. Um, you want to hold her? Yes. There you go. You can hold her for a little bit. Um, let's see here. Dog and Stella. Stella is eight. She just turned eight. So she, uh, we luckily were able to have her birthday party right at the end of February. So right before everything just turn to collapse poop <laughs> gotta try and watch my mouth right now um yeah so she had her eighth birthday party and then unfortunately some of her girlfriends are having to postpone their spring birthday parties we were supposed to go to her friend evelina's birthday party this next saturday but obviously it's not going to happen so she's super super bummed hi Brittany. i wish i had my brows done years before I did. Yes. Isn't it the best money you've ever seen? Yeah. Like, cause you just wake up and you have eyebrows. I don't know. I plucked all of my brows for the most part, almost all of my brows out when I was in, I think it was seventh grade. It was like 1992 or something like that. And my mom was like, you're probably going to regret that. And I was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> total regret because now when my brow hairs do grow back, like the ones over here for whatever reason want to like grow down. Um, they're not even growing in nicely really anymore. So I do have hair. How's this? How am I going to show you guys? Um, I guess you can't really see it, but it's not the best camera. Um, but I do have brow hair, but for the most part, this is, it's all the tattoo. So do you still use your Mark uh, Jacobs single eyeshadows? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. In fact, I think yesterday I used, what was it? Daddio. It's like a nice milk chocolate matte brown. Very, very pretty. Your hair is amazing. I'm a year and a half growing it out. Oh, good for you. Yeah, it's a process. Growing it out is definitely a process, but I love it. I love my gray hair. Some people do not. <laughs> Some people hate my gray hair. But um, best decision that I ever made. Lisa, I'm still recording. <laughs> I'm still recording a message to you. All right, I'm going to send it because why not? <laughs> Your 13 minute message there. Um, oh, shoot. Now I have to go back up. How, how do I scroll? Maybe three weeks ago, I might have. Oh, makes me want a grand. <laughs> Do you still? Yep. Answer that. My brother got married right at the end of February. Oh, yeah. How is she handling her cancellations? Is she moving everything over for her clients? I might address what I'm doing here in a second. I'm just going to look through the rest of these questions real quick. What I'm burning today, I already mentioned that, but let me just say it again really quickly for the people that just hopped on. I am burning Berry 
uh, berry waffle comb from Bath and Body Works, and then also the new hot cider donut from Homeworks. Oh, it's so good. I love that one. And then um, candy, cotton candy cookie from Scentsy, I think is what I have going in the warmers. How's homeschooling going? How's homeschooling going? Good. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not going as good as it would if she were in school, to be perfectly honest. Hey. But we're doing a lot of like, in her class, she does a lot of stuff in this online program. And luckily we have access to that at home. So she's been doing some reading online. She's been doing some math online. And then um, she's had to like read books every day as well. So we're just kind of doing some general stuff. She's actually technically on spring break this week. So I'm not pushing it too hard this week, but we'll definitely be back into it a little bit more aggressively because her teacher is putting a lot of stuff into this online Google Classroom thing that she's doing. So starting next week, we'll be going through a lot of those assignments and doing those. But this week, I'm a little more lax about it because it's actually spring break. So, uh, okay. How's, there's the homeschooling. Uh, trying to figure out a new skincare uh, products. How time do you ever tend to break out. Sometimes, if so, what's your solution? I have a pretty sensitive skin. So when I introduce something new, I'm usually, I mean, sometimes there's a couple of products that I will introduce into my skincare that are new, um, but I try to play, pay really close attention to see if there's any changes in my skin. If I do notice that I'm breaking out, I will stop using whatever new products I introduced and then just go back to like, the stuff that I was using um, that I know works and to like clear things up. And then I will introduce one product at a time. Usually if I'm going to break out, it's very quickly after I introduce something new and my skin doesn't like it. So that way I know if there's like something that's causing me to break out. But it's honestly, it's very rare that I have a reaction because my skin's so tough, you guys. Um, I mean, it's I would say it's like leather, but that's implying that it's like thick and gross and like unhealthy skin, but it's just very tough, like a very oily skin and not a whole lot irritates it to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. I just kind of add things in. And then if I notice a reaction, I back off and then I try it again. If I still break out at that point, I'll usually just pass whatever it is along to like my mom or my sister-in-laws or a girlfriend or something. So that's how I do it. All right. I'm going to scroll back up. Love your candle hauls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do too. Boo to the haters. <laughs> yeah. Usually, when I get bad comments or obnoxious comments on YouTube, I just block and delete those people right away. I just, I don't really pay much attention to it. I think most of the weddings got moved to the autumn. Yeah, that's, so um, for me, I am, uh, I was actually supposed to have a wedding this past Saturday and they canceled a week before. I felt so bad for her. Um, but what I did for her is I told her like, just pick a new date. She'd already paid in full. And in the end, I was actually able to get a hold of the flower market. And normally they require at least two weeks cancellation notice, but because it was like so sudden and everything was just happening all at once. And I'm such a good loyal customer of theirs. They went ahead and like, didn't make me come and pick up the flowers and pay for them, which was awesome. So I was able to take her entire payment and then just say, okay, whenever you um, have your wedding, let me know and we'll, we'll move the date. But like my clients for April and May, I'm basically telling them now, like, you know, if, if, you are changing your date, just let me know. And whatever deposit I have, will just carry over to the new date. So um, I have a feeling I'm probably going to have quite a few, maybe fall and winter weddings from people that are having to delay the next couple of months. So that's what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm just reading through some of these. I was homeschooled all the way through high school. 
So if you have any, oh, how did you like being homeschooled? I'm curious. Stella, she's an only child. So it, for me, it's really important to get her into school because the social aspect of it is so important to her. Um, oh, thank you, hand can plan. <laughs> um, I'm in a parking lot on my phone. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm hope I'm hopeful that if this works out, I can do it maybe once a week if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah. Uh, do I use a derma ruler? I do. I love I love derma rolling, but I only do the 0.25 um, depth uh, millimeter depth. Uh, I will never go beyond that for home stuff. Um, I, when everything clears up, I'd like to go see um, Penny from Pensmith Skincare in her office and have her do a deeper derma rolling on me. Um, but I would never do that at home. It's not worth the risk for me. So um, you and Lisa have to do a live together. We will. Yeah. She's actually supposed to come visit me at the end of next month. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, we might have to move the ticket, but we we will be together soon enough. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But in the meantime, yeah, if I can figure out how to do a split screen, um, maybe we can do that, Lisa. We'll do that for sure. Skincare is crucial. Yes, yes, it is. I'm burning banana foster. Oh, how's that one performing for you? That one didn't do well for me. I was sad because it smelled really good. Stella's totally just hanging over here. She's just watching me read and talk. Um, I got my mom watching you and she ordered the candle crock and loving it because of you. Yay! I'm so glad, Heather. <laughs> candle crocks are amazing. They are perfect for um, candles that just don't behave. So. Yes, I figured it out, Jennifer. <laughs> Took me a little while, but here I am. Um, oily skin tends to be very hardy. My skin is the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, the, uh, yeah. That's the only, I guess, really amazing thing about oily skin. It seems to be a lot tougher, so it stands up to a lot more. So, and... I don't think that I have as many wrinkles as some of my girlfriends who have a very dry skin type. I feel bad for them because they're constantly like looking for moisturizers to like add more moisture to their skin. And I'm like, I wish I could just like harvest this and pass it along. But yeah, it'd be kind of gross, right? Uh, I had a lot of social time growing up, lots of activities, very busy but it's not for everybody. Yeah. I just, I, I'm a terrible teacher. I'll be honest. There's a reason I did not go into teaching. <laughs> My degree is actually in social work. So that is, uh, that's what I did before I started getting into the wedding industry is I was working at nonprofits doing case management. And that was exhausting. That didn't last very long. <laughs> I have a deep, deep respect for social workers, especially social workers who have done it for more than 10 years. It's got a high burnout rate, I can tell you that. Your videos are getting me through this time. Oh, I'm so glad. You guys are so sweet. Honestly, I think you are some of like the nicest people on YouTube. And I love that. I have dry acne prone skin. I get the worst of both worlds. Oh, yeah. Hello from London. Hello. Hi in London. Oh, look, we have a jerk. Let's see. Can I block him? Uh, remove. <laughs> this is delightful. I'm so appreciative <laughs> to have a little girl time in the middle of Isn't it weird? Uh, bye. How do I? All right. No, not you. You. Put user in time. What does that do? 
Sorry. I'm I'm just figuring this stuff out. Hide user. Well, there we go. This user messages will be hidden. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Take that. Uh, I feel you on that. Hello from Colorado. Yes, mom swears by the candle crock. Oh, it's timed out for 300 seconds and then I was hidden. No, wait, I didn't unhide him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's always a weirdo that pops on, right? Everybody has to have a weirdo. Um, Lisa, where, Lisa, where are you? Lisa, Lisa Roberry, come back to me. There you are. Okay. I want to put you in as a moderator. Um, add moderator. Oh, yay, you're a moderator now. Can you, Lisa, can you look out for the buttheads? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello from Wisconsin. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, Wisconsin. How's the weather in Wisconsin right now? Are you guys still dealing with snow? We are supposed to get snow. Wait, what? Isn't it spring? I know, I know. Oh, it disappeared. Did you see it for a second? It was supposed to be kind of cold tomorrow, so it was supposed to start out snowing, but yeah, it's just rain. Eh, rain. We're dealing with so much rain, you guys. Woohoo! Yeah, you look at, oh, she's got a little like tool. Lisa's in charge, you guys. The Troll Slayer. <laughs> cold in Wisconsin? Is it raining? We had like 65 degrees and sunny for most of last week. It was so nice. I'm not like a sunshine person at all, but for whatever reason now, because of all this stuff, I'm like, oh, feels really nice to be outside in the warm sun. <laughs> I'll be complaining about it guaranteed in like three months. I hate the summer, but anyway, it's, it was kind of nice. It's sad when we'd have to be on boat <laughs> patrol, right? <laughs> Do you reuse your tall Kringle candle big jars? After Yes, I do. Yeah, I have them actually in our backyard and I put the pillar candles from Ikea, Ikea into them. They're really easy to clean out. I just put them in my candle crock. What are you barking at? And then I pour out the, um, the wax when it's warm and then I'm able to get the wick out and then I just wash it and then I'm able to put a pillar candle in it. They work great for that. Quite honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Kringle candles that I've bought. Um, and I just recently finished the last one that I bought in a haul several years ago. So um, yeah, that, uh, yeah, I, I think they work better in my backyard. <laughs> After I cleaned them out, I, I like the glasses. I think the glasses are very nice. Hello from NYC, longtime subscriber here. Happy to, hi Derek. Who wouldn't want more Stella time? I don't know. Stella, you're so popular. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is a chair licker. There's a chair licker under me. Hey, chair licker, knock it off. <laughs> hey, for some reason her and Kong really like to lick the chair that I'm sitting on. It's weird. Currently 89 and humid in South Texas. Oh. People in Texas and Florida, I have to give you the biggest props for living there because I don't think I could do it. I've been to Texas and it was just hot. It was so, granted it was like in summer, but it was so hot. I, I don't know. I can't, and people in Arizona, what? I don't, I don't know. I couldn't do it. What about Africa? Africa's pretty hot too. I need sun. <laughs> we had snow in Colorado last week. Yeah, it's crazy. The weather is nuts. My son missed sitting his uh, A-level exam, so he's nervous about university places. Oh. Oh, good for him, Samantha. Oh, that sucks. I know. There's. I honestly feel kind of bad for all of like the seniors right now because they're having to miss their prom. There's probably not going to be graduations or graduation parties. I just, I feel so bad for those kids. Oh, look at Lisa. <laughs> Are you putting the smack down? Good looking honky. I can only imagine what good looking honky had to say. The funny name. 
New Jersey was beautiful weather today. Oh, good for you. Good for you for getting out and getting getting a run in there. Hello from Mississippi. Hi, Mississippi. I can't believe I caught a live. I can't believe I'm doing a live. <laughs> I just don't go outside post-March. Yeah. <laughs> so you're used to being quarantined with the heat, right? <laughs> Gets hot and humid in Myrtle Beach. So I'm dressing summer. Huh. We spend uh, Vegas summer. Yeah. I went to Vegas last September and it was so hot. Just walking around to like the restaurants and stuff that we we're going to, it was miserable. I was like, how do people live here? Like, I mean, I can see why they all just like walk through the casinos instead of walking on the sidewalks. Um, Cause we ended up doing that too. Cause it was just so hot. You couldn't go in the pool. Arizona here, and yes. Oh, the pool was nice. With the what about weather. the poop? There was poop in the pool. When I went to Vegas, we were staying at the Tropicana, and there were, like, a bunch of kids that were playing in the pool. Um, this light, what is happening here? Let me see what happens when I... Oh, jeez. Oh, How's that? Uh, well, I feel like that's a little better. Um... Anyway, we were in the pool and everybody had to get out because there was a kid that took a dump in the pool. <laughs> Gross. So that was the end of the pool for that day. My firstborn is a senior and having a hard time. Oh, I bet. Thank you for a recommendation on the Biosons. Did you get it on sale? Did you get the Biosons on sale? You guys, it's on sale for 22 bucks right now on the Biosons website. Um, plus, I think Rakuten had like 7% cash back. If you're not using that, Use that. I have, well, I can't show you, but I have like a browser extension that like tells me anytime that there's cash back at a certain store and you just hit it and it automatically like will track your purchases and then they just put the money in your PayPal account. It's amazing. Wow. Who here uses Rakuten? It's the best. Love it. My last check was like 150 bucks just for like buying things that I was already going to buy anyway. It's amazing. Hello from New York. Hello, New York. New York. LOL at the poop. Yeah. Floaters. Yeah. So gross. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Crystal. Hi. <laughs> 98 people watching. 93. That's so cool. Oh, and look, 17 of you gave me a thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> help, help on that YouTube algorithm, huh? That's a lot of people. I don't really pay attention to that. Um, I teach high school seniors. There are a lot of tears. Oh, I bet. Those poor kids. Our oldest is a senior in college. He is missing his last semester in graduation. So sad. Our college freshman is bored out of his mind at home. Yeah, I bet. So fortunate to live in a house with a pool. Oh, yeah. I bet that's helpful during quarantine time. If it's warm enough where you are. We have a hot tub. Look, I'm getting more poop emojis. I like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jessica in Pennsylvania. Thank you for being here. Is it better than the honey extension? I have not tried honey. Do you use honey? Is honey good? I should look into that and see. It's been sunny in the UK the last couple of days. I'm trying to stay isolated. Oh. TikToks all day. I... I don't know anything about TikTok. Like, I know that there's like TikTok videos starting to show up on Instagram now, but I don't even have the TikTok app. Kaylin does. Does she? Yeah. Does she do TikToks? Yep. Oh, maybe I should get in and follow her. Here in Toronto, Canada, we have like two seasons, summer and winter. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. Toronto is so beautiful. I've been to Toronto, I think, two times. And it's such a beautiful city. I, I would live in Toronto. I like it up there a lot. I got my second bottle during the sale. Yay, good. Good. It's Oh, it's so good. My son was supposed to get married May 16th. We've been planning this wedding for over a year, and we had to cancel it. Oh, oh Jennifer, I'm so sorry. That sucks. How is the bride handling it? Is she doing okay? Oh, 
I just, I hate that. Like, I mean, it's, it's obviously for good reason, but I hate that. Like, there's so many like big things that were supposed to be happening that just aren't going to now. And oh, it just breaks my heart. Yes. Rakuten for the win. I totally miss the old E. I know. I don't like the name Rakuten. That's, I don't, it's weird. <laughs> I wish they would have kept the name Ebates, but I use Honey, but I have no idea how it compares. Okay. I might look into Honey and see if I notice a difference, but I know that with Rakuten, I just automatically get the money deposited into my um, PayPal account. I think it's like four times a year, um, which is awesome. Bordeaux, France. Woo! Hi, Erica. You live in the most beautiful place. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Hello, just made it in. Hi, Amy. Amy's from SoCal. How you doing down there in California? Lisa keeps me updated on California. She lets me know about <laughs> what your guys' lockdown status is. <laughs> TikTok is a black hole that will suck you. Oh no, should I not get TikTok? I don't need another thing to suck my time. I can tell you that. It'll well, make you I turn do. to a teenager if you're young. It'll make me turn, it'll turn you into a teenager? Yep, if I ever try it. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I don't want you to be a teenager yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I should be, I am not. Northern Ireland, hello. Oh, she's a mess. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Oh, that sucks. Are the vendors being good about moving things? Have you guys paid in full for everything by this point? Probably not, because we're, we're not even at the beginning of April, so probably not yet. But I hope you're able to move everything over. My future daughter-in-law is a planner. Oh, well, that's good. So she knows what to do. So many life. No, I know. Just everything's being rescheduled. It sucks. Texas here. Hi. Hello in Texas. Melting happy birthday. Oh. How do you like happy birthday? Wait, no, 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 no. You're melting happy birthday. That's from Sensi. Oh, I know. That's good. Um. Homeworks had a like happy birthday candle as well. I never bought it and I kind of regret it because I heard it was pretty good. Susan, you guys, Susan Reedy's here. I love Susan. She cracks me up with her texts. <laughs> she, oh my gosh, she makes me laugh almost every single day. Would you say I could make the switch to Paula's Choice uh, nice in my 20% or should it be a gradual transition? Um, have you used niacinamide at all before? If you have never used niacinamide and you know that you have sensitive skin, I would start with the 10%. If you know that your skin's pretty hardy, I would say go ahead and try the 20%, but ease into it. Like do like every other night. Um, and then if you're finding that your skin's adjusting good, then obviously just continue to daily use at that point. But I would say most people should probably ease into like new skincare just because the vast majority of people seem to like need some time to adjust. I don't, but I always tell people just to be on the safe side, just ease into whatever you're getting into. So you lost people watching. Lisa is in California. I lost people watching. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> They're probably getting bored. Um, yes, Sensi, first time melting it. I love it. Yeah, it's so good. Yes. Exciting. The photographer, being a douche. Oh, the photographer's being a jerk. I've worked with some photographers that weren't the nicest people. Not nice. I know. Mushu wax is where it's at. Oh, not heard of that. I use 10 and many exfoliants you recommend. Okay, good. Yeah. Keeping your skin exfoliated with chemical exfoliants, I think is one of like, 
the best things that you can do. I still use scrubs from time to time. I know you're not supposed to, so I'm usually pretty careful about it, but um, yeah, uh, every once in a while, I'll still use some. You're not supposed to though. <laughs> came from the grocery store. No TP, no tissues, no paper towels, no wipes, no paper napkins. Are people buying napkins now to wipe their butts? Ew. Oh man. Loving peach nectar. Yes. Isn't it good? Peach nectar is so good. Chocolate eggs from Yankee. Ooh, that sounds good. Love an occasional scrub. Yeah, I do too. There's just nothing better than like just gently getting in there and just getting away the flakies. What is? No sugar at our super. Oh, what? No sugar? Hi, Sarah. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Are people wiping their butts with leaves? I don't. I hope not. Yikes. We shouldn't be. Why? Why is Charmin not making more toilet paper? Is my question. I went to Costco on Sunday, like mid-afternoon, and we have enough toilet paper. Luckily, before all this started, I thought to go and get like one of those huge packs from Costco. So we don't need it, but I was thinking that some people in our family might start running out. So I was like, since I'm out, I'll see if I can get a Costco pack. And when I walked in, there were people walking out with, you know, the big like Kirkland toilet paper packs that they have. And there were employees that they didn't even put the toilet paper out. Like you had to go to the back and ask an employee to give you a pack and they limited it to one. And just as I walked up, they were like, yeah, we just ran out. And I was like, oh darn. But luckily we're not out. And I think most of our family's still doing okay. But I thought I'd just pick it up just in case they start running out, but no such luck. Mm -hmm. Got eggs today. Sorry, I'm going back up. I have to run. Bye, Jennifer. Thank you for being here. Nine, but back to more people on an item. Go figure. The plumbers are plotting job security. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, man. Do you prefer Lancer Polish over Kate Summer Bill Exfolicate? Um, I think I like the Kate Somerville a little bit better. Um, but that Lancer was really good. The Lancer is just really expensive, but so is the Kate Somerville. Um, I would probably personally repurchase the Kate Somerville before the Lancer. Me personally. But the, I think they're both pretty good. Yeah. I went to Dollar General today and got toilet paper. Oh, nice. Actually, some things I'm doing because they're worse off than Oh. Hi, Sarah. I have rosacea and my derm said I can't use salicylic acid or physical scrub. So unfortunately my exfoliation is a washcloth and sometimes use an AJ. Yeah, rosacea is tough. Um, yeah, you have to be a lot more gentle with your skin. So, I mean, a, a washcloth will give you a pretty decent exfoliation. I have this really nice, um, bamboo washcloth from Juice Beauty. And that one does a really good job of very gently exfoliating. Also, have you tried a Konjac sponge? Have you seen that? They're like, they feel like they're super hard, but then you soak them in water and they like poof up. That's really nice, super gentle exfoliation too. Look into a Konjac sponge for your rosacea. My friend bought a bidet. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> My husband is working at home. We are all crowded and I'm about to again. Yeah. I have not had to do that yet with Stella because she's been such a good little girl. Honestly, she has been a trooper, you guys. She, and look how cute she is. She's so cute. Why do my lips look so red? I don't know. That's they look strange. really red. <laughs> Just popped in to say, hi, Baking Diva. How are you? I gave my elderly neighbor toilet paper, Clorox wipes, and hand sanitizer. Oh, that is so nice of you, Anna. I have chicken and thus eggs. All of my stores are empty. Oh, 
I was telling Lisa the other day that if our yard was like shaped differently, um, I would totally get chickens. I love chickens. But then also Mr. Kong, he has a real thing against chickens. Um, he killed one when I was pregnant with Stella. Our neighbors had chickens and he pulled this. This is like the worst story ever. So he was digging a hole by the fence because he was like, oh, there's chickens over there. Those are fun. So he was digging a hole and one of the chickens stuck its head underneath and he pulled the chicken over and the chicken was gone. I came outside and I was like, what is all this blood and guts? And what you is saw the that beak. beak? Yeah, he had a beak. <laughs> hanging out of his mouth it was oh my god it was horrible and I was like freshly pregnant with Stella so I had like horrible morning sickness so I'm like you know like basically um did you have to pay the neighbors Evan Swanson huh uh no we did no I don't think they knew what happened to their chicken I never fessed up is that bad <laughs> well, they got rid of the chickens not long after that so I don't think they were really into the chickens Anyway, there's a oh. horrible story for you. Also, Kong killed a mouse once when he, my neighbors were over. He did. You came home. I was like, Dad, I, I saw a mouse. And then, um. Stop up, sorry. I, I'm listening. I'm listening and reading. And, um, and, um, then he, uh, well, um, he's like, I don't see it. And I'm like, lift up the couch. And my neighbors were like, that's a, a mouse. And then Kong like runs over to the mouse and like chomps it up like. He did. Kong is quite the mouse killer, even in his old age. Looks like I found a party. Yay, Tammy, you joined the party. <laughs> um, and by the way, I think I know what happened to the, all the TV. Cornholio did it. Cornholio totally did it. I love Beavis and Butthead. Craig does the best Beavis and Butthead impression. He cracks me up with it. It's one of the things that I love most about him. Like he's an amazing husband and whatever, but his like Beavis and Butthead impression, like that is what makes me adore him. I don't even know what that is. Beavis and Butthead? No. That's probably not a cartoon for you. Charlotte wants to meet you. Oh, Stella. Sarah has a daughter named Charlotte. And she's super cute. Here, let me show you. And she wants to meet you someday. Let's see. Sarah, I'm going to look you up on Instagram real quick. My Backwoods Life. If you guys want to follow her, that's her daughter right there. Her name's yeah. Charlotte. She's your age. She's super cute, isn't she? But she's my age. She my looks older than that. Is, how old is Charlotte? Is she eight? Or no, she's nine. Duh, it says right here. She turned nine Whoa. Uh, on March 17th. Wow. That's not that long ago. I enjoy your positivity. Oh, that makes me really happy to hear because I think positivity is the way to get through this. I hope no one is having chicken for dinner. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was like the worst story ever, right? It was so gross, you guys. Um, I was not a fan. Poor chicken. Yeah. Hello in Missouri. Hi. <laughs> Hello from Indiana. Oh my gosh, you guys are Evan. Evan, who are you? Evan, what is your channel all about? Tell us. Hello from DC Metro. My chicken bullies the dogs. <laughs> and they are killers of everything. That's awesome. Good for your chicken. Oh, man. Oh, Evan has... Oh, look. I think Evan's a spammer. Hmm. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of this person. Let's get rid of this person. How come? The hater? No, they're just... You know, they're making it hard for me to read these comments because they're writing things that don't make sense. Uh, I just got rid of Evan. Evan. Well, no, there's another Evan Swanson up here. Hang on. It's moving too fast. Uh, hide user. Users. Okay. I think I did that. All right. I don't know. 
I just woke up in Sydney. Hello. Hello, Australia. How are you guys doing down there? Looking forward to the release of Hot Cider Donut. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Ugh, I'm telling you, when it just, just buy it when it comes out. Lisa says I don't. Don't see fire me. <laughs> You're not fired. I I got rid of him. I think he'll probably come back with another account. Don't fire me, LOL. <laughs> Lisa would never be fired. I have a rooster who bullies me. <laughs> I make candles and you have made me a much better candle maker. Oh, yay. I'm glad to hear that. I recently started using alpha lotion with 12% glycolic acid on my neck and my chest recommendation from Hot and Flashy. It's good stuff. I use it on my crocodile feet too. I, is that the one that has the like A in the red square? Is that the one that you're talking about? I've used that one before. It is really, really good. Hi, Arts and Mom. Yeah, I rarely catch these two, so. Yeah, guys, I got rid of Evan, Evan Swanson. He's he's gone. Sydney is at a standstill too. Uh, my brother and my sister-in-law and their kids live outside of Brisbane. And uh, they are... Um, my brother had a really bad, uh, motorcycle accident right before I got pregnant with Stella and he has a lot of health complications because of that accident. So, um, they are hopefully holed up like in their house, um, and not leaving for anything. I'm, I'm really worried about my brother and I'm worried about my mom and my dad and then my in-laws too, because they're older, but my mom and my dad have some like pre-existing conditions that would not make this virus particularly good for them to get. So, and they're not staying home. They, well, they are, my mom still has to go to work sometimes. And then my dad is on call. So, um, I really wish they would just stay home though. Stella is, she's super big, huh, guys? It freaks me out every day. Do you have problems with your recent BBW candles when you only crock them? I'm having such a terrible experience. Yeah, here's the thing. I am having good luck with candles that are, like, from the, so I'm wearing this, like, huge, awful, ugly sweater. Um the core collection candles that have this label, these do pretty well for me, but the, um, why did that change? Is it, is my light dying? Oh geez. Oh, um, yeah. The ones that have like the limited edition packaging, those are, those aren't doing as well for me. Hang on guys. Here we go. Anyway, yeah, so these I don't have as many problems with, but limited, like, the, the fancy, like, cartoony packaging, those are the ones that don't do as well for me. I don't know why that is, though. Why did Lisa say bye, Evan? <laughs> I think he came back with another account. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, for Australia. I lived in Melbourne for a year. Oh. Check out The Body Coach on YouTube and PE with Joe. He has some online exercise classes. Ooh, we should check that guy out. You wanna do some, some exercise? Her PE teacher from school, don't say his name. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, her PE teacher from school is, uh, he also says, um, no, he's not, what am I, I'm having brain fart, guys. He's doing some stuff on Facebook, so she can watch those videos, too. Um, he's really funny. So he's doing some stuff for the kids as well. But we'll check out that other guy, Susan. Will you text me that? Because that's, it's going to fly out. Worrying about the parents is hard. Yeah. Plus arguing with them about going out. I don't know why they're not listening. They should be. <laughs> this is scary been watching a lot of the news stuff and I should probably stop doing that because like it just kind of I mean I knew that the virus was pretty serious but a lot of people are like oh it's just like getting a cold but for the people 
for whom it's not just like another cold, it's really, really bad for them. And there's a lot of people now that are getting it and are ending up in the ICU without having like pre-existing conditions that would make it worse for them, I guess. Um, so people that, you know, aren't necessarily smokers or overweight or all that stuff. So it's hitting people just in general now, it looks like. We'll be on total lockdown in France until, ooh. <laughs> hey, Lisa, what did Wild Camper 2020 say? Send me a text. <laughs> so bad in Europe right now. I feel terrible for Europe. Europe is, ugh. Um, Italy and I think Spain right now are getting hit the hardest. Another troll. Hey, Lisa. It's so funny. Seven dead today in Ireland, two did not have pre-existing conditions. Ooh, that's really scary. Why do people come on here to do, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, I have never understood people who get off on like being obnoxious to others. Thanks Lisa. Moron. Um, Buffs that. County, Pennsylvania. Oh. Hi, Glory. Some people just suck, yeah. yeah. You always look so put together, Melanie. Always inspires me to put myself together when at home. Yeah, like I, this part normally is somewhat put together, but then I have on these sweet sweatpants and these slippers, slippers that Penny likes to attach. Not quite that bendy anymore. <laughs> How do you feel about healthy soy candles? I've never found one that smells potent and they're always very weak. I much prefer. So here's the thing. I feel like Swan Creek soy candles are really good. Um, and Milk House Creamery, they are also, I think, exclusively soy. I think those are pretty good. But yeah, they, they're they not usually as strong. So I don't buy them a lot. And I think... I don't know that they're necessarily healthier. If that makes sense. I, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't think there is a healthy candle to be totally honest. I think the best way to do it is just to melt them. But I don't know. I like the ambiance. <laughs> Bye, Isabella. Thank you for being here. Susan, is the snail... Uh, mucin eye serum, amazing. Are you saying just go ahead and get it? Is that what you're saying? Should I get it? Right, she's always on point. <laughs> Gotta go. Hey, bye, Ramona. Thanks for being here. I'll keep you posted. Yes, let me know because I would love to do that. That's super fun. I like the Trader Joe's ones, but they have a soy wax blend. Yes, the lemon cookie is so good, isn't it? If you guys have a Trader Joe's near you, check out the lemon cookie um, in the little tin that they have. Oh, it's so good. It's not gonna be a house filler because it's like a one wick in like a small tin, but it's such a good scent. It's so good. <sighs> you have to add a higher percentage of fragrance oil, yeah. I think that that's where a lot of those companies go wrong is they just don't add enough oil. And I'm assuming it would get really expensive if you're having to like really pour the fragrance oils in there. And maybe that's why they don't do it. I would imagine. Ah, it smells so good. I believe that we need to be cautious, but the news is giving us anxiety. Yeah. One of my oil vendors has apple cider donut fragrance. You should get that. You should get that. I love that smell. <laughs> really nice and moisturizing. Ooh, I got the snail mucin serum from Casa Rex. Samantha, did you get the one for the face or did you get their new under eye? That one I need to buy. That's the one that I was asking Susan about. 
Yeah, that's why it smells so good. Keep in mind Australian times so we don't miss your live sessions. Oh yeah. Yes, I will try. I, don't, I, need, I need to look at world clocks and try to figure out like the best time of day. I just figured for this first one, have I been doing this for almost an hour? Oh my God, I can't believe you guys are still here. 60 of you are. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I will look at world times and is a weekend better? I could do a Saturday or a Sunday. If it was Saturday or Sunday, I'm sure that Craig would sit back there and just make fun of me. He thinks this is hilarious. <laughs> what oh, are you no, doing? It's been morning. Yeah, it's been one hour. Moisturizing. Oh, good. I'm excited to try it. Mm. Have you ever tried BBW limoncello? I have. I don't like it. It's it's a little too like lemon cleaner ish for my taste. Lemon for me is tricky. It needs to be fresh and tart, um, but I really prefer it with a bakery note. That's my favorite. Yankee used to be great, but they, oh yeah, no. Hi, Paige loves beauty, hi. Are diptyque candles worth it? I've never, I've never bought one. Should I buy one? My friend Lindsay thinks they're really worth it. So maybe, maybe I'll do a worth the splurge. I'll order a diptyque. Needs to be when I get back to work though, because right now my money flow is uh, low. Low. <laughs> Thank you, Stella. Yay. <laughs> Do you know of a great body moisturizer for women 50 and over? My skin is becoming really dry. You know what I use is the Paula's Choice Ceramide Enriched Body Lotion. That one is really, really moisturizing. It's also what I go to when I have eczema, like on my arms. I was actually, you guys can still see it. I'm having some eczema flare ups right here. Um, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Ooh, that's brutal. Um, so I'm currently using that to clear this up. Yeah, I think I think it's stress. I get stress. eczema when I get stressed. I would I would try that one. Um, also, if you uh, check out that alpha lotion that Sarah was talking about, because that has glycolic acid in it, and that will get rid of like the dead skin cells, but it's also pretty hydrating. Um, so I would suggest maybe like alternating like an AHA body lotion with like a really rich, creamy, moisturizing one like the Paula's Choice. I just, I really like that one for when I have eczema. So also if you put a couple drops of squalane oil in it, it makes it even more delightful. I love that. All right, hang on, I have to go back up here. It's 8 a.m. in Australia now. I love all your videos. Do you know great body moisturizer? So we are house shopping and your outdoor seating area is a must have for me. Any tips or advice? I love the idea of homeworks, candles, and cock. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, so at our last house, we never spent any time in our backyard because it just, it wasn't a great backyard. Um, the reason that we bought this house um, the inside was nice too. And I liked the layout of the inside of the house. But honestly, when Craig saw the backyard, he was like, that's it. We're putting in an offer. Um, the outdoor fireplace here is amazing. Honestly, we looked at a house down the street and I didn't even think to look at this one because it wasn't listed on the market yet. And when I went to tour the one down the street, they had just put up the sign here. And um, that's how I first found this house is I just happened to look up the street and I was like, oh, there's another one up there. Cause I love this neighborhood. So um, yeah, I'm so glad we ended up here. I would say uh, your realtor, like I just let our realtor know, like this is exactly what we're looking for. And I made her do all of the legwork cause that's what we were paying her for. <laughs> But this one I actually found myself because I was like, what is that up there? And then like she went through the process of like getting us in here to like tour it and stuff. But it was amazing. Perfect for me to ride my bike down the street. It is. It's perfect for you. I don't like limoncello either. It smells sticky to me. Mm -hmm. I also want something tart in a lemon scent. Yeah. I made some rose petal gelato. Ooh, that sounds really beautiful. Hi, welcome back. I'm still here. I don't know how long you guys want to do this. <laughs> I have nothing else to do with my time right now, I guess. Uh, Ren Clean Skincare. 
I really like the jelly um, cleanser from Ren and then their perfect canvas primer. Oh my God, she's so cute. Penny is so cute, you guys. Um, the, hi, Ash, hi. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, I have the worst brain farts. Oh yeah, Ren, uh, the Perfect Canvas Primer. That's really nice too. Although I haven't busted that one out in a while. I need to, I need to use that up. I got those red marks on my neck too when I started using tretinoin. Oh yeah, I am nowhere near ready to start using tretinoin on my neck because I know my neck is a little bit more sensitive, but I am using the 0.5% retinol from Dr. Loretta right now. And that one is really nice. Although because I have this here, I'm just using it up here right now. So, but yeah, my, yeah, my skin, I'm getting splotchy from like stress and stuff. So I, I can tell that I need to like lay off the news. It makes my eczema go crazy. If you haven't tried the Indie Lee skin clearing mask. Ooh, Indie Lee is at Ulta now, I think. I'll have to look into that. <sighs> Pricey, but I, yeah, I don't mind blowing money on skincare. I always get a lot of crap for that. I yeah, there's so many people that really have gotten mad with me for not like incorporating more like inexpensive skincare on my channel. And I'm like, there's lots of people that do that. I just, I, I honestly, like how I run my channel is I buy whatever I wanna buy and then I talk about that stuff and then hopefully you guys are interested. And if you're not, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I've always just been one of those people like, I don't watch the trends on YouTube to figure out what video I'm going to do. I just, I talk about whatever I want. And, and sometimes nobody watches my videos and that's fine. <laughs> but like, I have to be able to talk about what I'm interested in. Otherwise it's just not worth it to me. Um, I'm just not that person. The Ren Overnight Balm is amazing. Yes. I'll have to look into that one. Sounds like it's super hydrating. Not gelato that you eat. <laughs> yeah, it sounds it sounds like an amazing scent. Hi, Annie. Hi, Troy. It's getting closer to dinner time. Oh yes. I forgot. Like East Coast people, you guys are probably gonna have dinner soon. Uh, let's do like another 10 minutes. I feel like that's good for a first time, huh? Yes, cura, uh, Curology, I am. I wish that Curology shipped to Oregon, but they don't. I actually was contacted by a rep from them and they wanted to like send me some of their skincare. Like they were gonna have a person call me and ask me about like what I'm currently using and then like put together a formulation for me. But once I told them I live in Oregon, they're like, oh yeah, never mind. We can't send you anything. And I was like, ah, because everyone talks about Curology. I'd love to try that. Would love to see some housekeeping cleaning videos from you. I feel you would be managing your home room. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little bit of a neat freak. I don't know how interesting it would be because I don't know, I just like keep up with everything. So there's never really a whole lot of deep cleaning to do. Um, maybe, I don't know. I love splurging on my skincare. It's more likely to skimp on makeup. Yeah, yeah. I, I think spend your money on your skincare first and then whatever makeup you do have should look a heck of a lot better on your skin. My internet is messed up, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Smelling shower gel from philosophy. To oh, that's so nice, Ash. <laughs> what a sweet sister. This is your channel and you do. Thank you. <laughs> I have pretty much since the beginning. Have you ever thought of trying Grove Collab? Yes. Didn't, I think you sent me, send me your link again, Susan, and I will sign up through that. Um, I'm, I, I'm thinking that I might try it probably next month though. 
Curology. Oh, they don't ship to South Carolina either. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Stella is not doing online school right now. Her teacher is, she has like a Google Classroom set up and she's sending assignments. And then she also signs into her regular like reading, online reading accounts that they do in class as well as online math accounts. So she's doing a lot of her math and reading stuff through that. And then the teacher is sending like extra writing assignments. And next week after spring break, um, we're going to work on typing. So the teacher wants them to start learning how to type, which I didn't do until oh, high school. <laughs> Hello, sunfish out of water. Hello there in Ohio. Where are the doggies? Well, there's one right there. Where's Kong? Um, Kong is sitting on the carpet sleeping like he always does. Oh. Yeah, Kong's asleep. Sorry, I don't want to wake him. He's so cute when he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yay. What are you having for dinner? Miss Sakura0216. What are you having for dinner? And what's your name? <laughs> I love Grove Collaborative. Oh, good. Their customer service. That's really good to hear. Hi. Bye, Glory. Thank you for being here. We'll do this again. This it wasn't super hard. I love ginger anything. Mm, yes. They're a bit backed up right now because of everything, but I find it convenient. Yeah. Ooh, they canceled your school year in Montreal, Annie. I hope. Ooh, yeah. I keep telling Lisa. I'm like, I bet they're just gonna. On April 28th, when they're supposed to go back, I bet we're going to get an email saying, don't come back to school. In which case, that make me really sad. She really wants to see her friends, but I mean, I get it. I just hope this all runs its course soon. Avoiding Penny. Yes, he always tries to. Hi, Autumn. How are you? What am I, Lisa, are you asking me what I'm having for dinner? Uh, I picked up a bunch of like Costco meals on Sunday. So I think today we are doing a salad and stuffed peppers that they make back in their like section where they have the meats and the things. What's the problem? Gilby's bones. Oh, her stinky toy. Penny, come here. Penny, come here. <laughs> Let me love you. There's Penny, guys. Steak for dinner. Ooh, <laughs> Susan, can I come over? Breakfast duty calls from children. Thank you for being here, Zen One. Virginia closed all schools for the school year. Did they really, Ash? Oh, man. Spaghetti squash. With sage cream sauce. Oh, Anna, I want to come to your house for dinner too. They've canceled the school year for the rest of the year in Kansas. What? So that's happening everywhere almost. Oh, please don't lick my mouth. Oh, <laughs> I'm off. Okay, got out of the oven. Be 15 pounds heavier. Yeah, same. I, I miss going to the gym, you guys. They even canceled the army for me. And I work in a gym, so I haven't left my house in two weeks. Ooh, yeah, autumn. Stuffed peppers. Oh, the Costco ones are so good, Ash. Oh, they're so good. Canceling the rest of the year is definitely being hinted here in Ohio. My name is Meatballs with pasta and bread. Oh, Ooh. April. You would probably love going to April's house for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Stella loves spaghetti, that's her favorite. Like, what about pizza? I I haven't seen anyone having pizza yet. I know, you guys. She's so cute, isn't she? She's Aww. falling asleep. She's my beefy potato. Look at her. Oh, my God. I love her. My university is closed. Finals are the 12th of May. Yeah, in South Dakota. Oh. In Arizona, we're 
out until April 13th. Samantha, I bet that's going to get extended for you. Love pasta. Pasta's so good. Ooh, <laughs> pizza they're for having three pizza. days. <laughs> I'm having pizza homemade. Ooh, we're having pizza. Papa Murphy's. Ooh, Papa Murphy's is good. That's what we did for Stella's birthday. We just got a bunch of Papa Murphy's pizzas. And um, you guys, I'm dying. Look at her. Aww. Did you guys know there are some people that hate pugs? I know. It blew my mind when someone told me they didn't like pugs. I was like, what? Have you seen them? <laughs> A girl in my school hates pugs. Does she? Yeah. Did you tell her she's crazy? Yeah. Because she is. Yeah. She's out of her mind. <laughs> Nick Gurr has Corona. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. I'm, so I'm sorry you have Corona, Nick. Oh, there's fur. Do you guys see the fur flying everywhere? Currently in my lip gloss. Mm -hmm. Sepsis multiple times with infection in my spine. Holy cow. How did that? Oh, I feel so bad for you. Y'all are making me so hungry. <laughs> Pug nuggle. Yeah, I know. She's so cute. If you love animals, you love them all, right? My next dog is a pug. Oh, Annie, let me tell you. Uh, prepare yourself for the shedding because they don't look like they shed because they're not like fluffy, but they shed like crazy. There's hair all over my mouth, isn't there? Can you see it? Yeah. Am I missing it? If you ever get a boy black pug, then they might go crazy. Yeah. Well, just prepare yourself for the most stubborn the most stubborn they're so stubborn um but they're so sweet and they just they love their people they're super super loyal and snuggly and sweet and i just love her so much but she's refusing to potty train <laughs> so and that seems to be like a usual pug thing so prepare yourself for that strawberry pound cake by bath and body works and i'm eating grilled chicken and mashed potatoes Ooh. What are your thoughts on the Dr. Jart ceramide cream? I have not tried it because Dr. Jart is not cruelty free. So that one's a no go for me, unfortunately. I don't care, I love them. <laughs> yes, yes, they are, they're amazing. Honestly, I don't think we'll ever not be pug people, but there's times where Craig and I are like, this one's really annoying. <laughs> Paul used to be so potty trained. Kong, yeah, Kong has, um, he is a little bit incontinent at this point, so we clean up after him quite a bit, but he's great otherwise, so. Um, sometimes he trips holes in the carpet. When he was younger, he was yes. a little bit of a stinker. Yes. That was long before you. Yes. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Um, Thank you so much for being here today. I will try to do this again um, soon. Hugs to Mr. Kong. <laughs> yeah, he's so sweet. Um, I will try to do this again very soon. It actually wasn't that difficult to set up. So um, the next time I do it, I'll announce it again on Instagram and on um, Facebook. And um, hopefully you guys will all be able to join us again. So. Oh, you guys, look at this. She just, she loves it. She's like, let's be quarantined for life. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here. I love all of you. Um, it's always fun. <laughs> it's a community, right? Yeah. Susan, that meme that you did of Penny where she was just like tiny and she was taking a dump like over my shoulder in the background and that, oh my God, that still is one of my favorite things in life. Another poop emoji. Yep. That was from Susan. At least I caught the end. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. You are all amazing. I'm loving reading these. I'm going to have to go through and make sure that, um, that I 
somehow acknowledge all of these if I missed a question or something. Sorry, sometimes it was going a little bit fast for me. So um, yeah, but I'll, I'll try to get better at this. So thank you guys so much. You want to say bye, Stella? Bye. <laughs> so we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye, Pen. Bye, guys. <laughs>